unto you in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are hearing my voice from all over the world, shall we begin to appreciate the name of the Lord? Let's begin to bless his holy name. Let's appreciate him for bringing us safely into this brand new month of November. Let's give him all the praise and all the glory. Come on, open your mouth and begin to appreciate God this morning for the privilege to be a living soul. Let's give him all the praise due unto him. Father, we thank you, we worship you. Father, we adore you, we glorify your holy name. We give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you have done for us and our household. We thank you for January, for February, for March. We thank you for April, for May. We appreciate you, Lord, for the month of June. We say thank you for July, August, and September. We glorify your name for what you did in the month of October. And we are so grateful in anticipation, oh God, for what you are going to do in this month of November. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the way you have kept our household, for not allowing evil to be for us. Father, we thank you. Father, we appreciate you. Somebody open your mouth and appreciate this great God. Father, we give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Many have gone to the one beyond. They have gone to the world beyond. But God has kept you. You are alive. You are healed and healthy. Appreciate him for this great privilege. Father, we thank you. Lift your voice of thanksgiving unto God and offer it unto him this morning. For only him deserves it. Father, we thank you for month of November, the 11th month of the year. Oh, receive all the glory. In the name of Jesus, we can lift our hands, we can walk, we can do things on our own. We appreciate you. We are not bed bound. We have not been buried. We thank you, oh God, for this great privilege. Receive all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you, oh God. Thank you for all our children. We thank you because we did not cast our young. Receive all the glory in the name of Jesus. Thank you because we did not bury any of our men. We did not bury any of our women. We say thank you, Jehovah, for what you are doing in this commission. We are grateful. We are grateful. Receive all the praise. Receive all the glory. Father, we say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. In the name of Jesus. Malekos suta libari and zikapa. Open your mouth and appreciate this great God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree and declare into your life that in this month of November, God will arise and it will exceed your expectation. In the name of Jesus, in this month of November, God will arise and it will exceed your expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody hearing me. In this month of November, evil will not be for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I say that throughout this month, evil will not be for you. In the name of Jesus, I want you to lift your voice up to the Almighty God and declare with your own mouth and pray like this. Say throughout this month of November, the weapon of the enemy will not locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus, say throughout this month of November, the weapon of the enemy will not locate me. Open your mouth and declare that very, very well. In the mighty name of Jesus, throughout this month of November, weapon of the enemy will not locate me. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare that throughout this month, the weapon of my enemy will not locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus, pray that prayer very well. Throughout this month of November, weapon of the enemy will not locate me and my household. In the name of Jesus, the weapon of the enemy will not locate me. In the name of Jesus, the weapon of the enemy will not locate me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name we pray say powers assigned to fight me in this month destroy yourself in the mighty name of jesus any power that wants to fight me in this month of november be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed in the name of jesus any power assigned from the kingdom of darkness to fight me this month destroy yourself destroy yourself be destroyed now be destroyed now in the mighty name of jesus somebody lift your voice with your mighty god and pray that prayer you are declaring into the new month say any power assigned to fight me in this month destroy yourself in the name of jesus be destroyed by fire be destroyed by fire in the mighty name of jesus any power that has been assigned from the kingdom of darkness to fight me in this month of november destroy yourself destroy yourself in the name of jesus you that power i command it to be destroyed i command it to be destroyed in jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say any power that did not get me in the month of October, 
preparing to fight me in the month of november be wasted by fire in the mighty name of jesus power that did not defeat me in the month of october preparing to fight me again in the month of November, be destroyed now be destroyed now in the name of jesus you that power be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed be destroyed in the name of jesus power that did not get me in the month of october and is reinforcing to fight me again in the month of november be destroyed now be destroyed now somebody pray that prayer very well open your mouth and pray that prayer that any power that did not defeat me in the month of october and is reinforcing to fight me again in november be destroyed now be destroyed now in the name of jesus you that power be destroyed now be destroyed now in jesus mighty name we pray say yes. evil calendar drafted against my household catch fire in the mighty name of jesus every evil calendar drafted against my household catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire in the name of jesus evil calendar drafted against my household catch fire now in the name of jesus every evil calendar drafted against me and my household i command it to catch fire in the mighty name of jesus every time and date the enemy has written to strike on my household catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now every evil calendar that has been drafted against myself and my household i command it to catch fire somebody pray that prayer very well every evil calendar any day the enemy has assigned to injure me or to fight me and my household catch fire catch fire catch fire you that calendar catch fire catch fire in jesus mighty name we pray maybe you do not know the enemy can uh, mark a evil calendar against a person or against a household and they will say on so so date we'll strike and do this on so so date we'll strike and do this on so so day we'll conclude it and we'll do this i want you to lift your voice with the almighty god say any evil calendar drafted against me and my household catch fire now in the name of jesus any evil calendar that has been drafted against me and my household catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire in the name of jesus any evil calendar drafted against me and my household catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now catch fire now in jesus mighty name we pray say agenda of the enemy to make me cry this month be frustrated in the name of jesus every plan of the enemy to make me cry in this month of november be frustrated be frustrated be frustrated in the name of jesus somebody pray that prayer very well say in the name of jesus i will not cry this month in the mighty name of jesus i will not sorrow this month in the mighty name of jesus every agenda of the enemy to make me cry this month be frustrated be frustrated be frustrated in the name of jesus agenda of the enemy to make me cry in this month of november be frustrated now be frustrated now in the name of jesus be frustrated in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray say in the name of jesus remaining days this year i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy in the mighty name of jesus the remainder is this year i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy somebody open your mouth and declare that very well the remaining days in this year i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy in the mighty name of jesus i decree and declare that remaining days in 2023 i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy pray that prayer very well i hope my mother and i declare that remaining days this year i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy i will not know sorrow evil will not be for me in the name of jesus evil will not be for my household in the mighty name of jesus remaining days this year i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy myself and my household we shall not be victim of sorrow and tragedy in the mighty name of jesus somebody pray that prayer very well that remaining days this year in this ember month i will not be a victim of sorrow and tragedy in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray we are still praying remember we are declaring into the new month somebody lift your voice with your mighty god say remaining days this year myself and my family we shall not die suddenly in the mighty name of jesus the remaining days this year myself and my family we shall not die suddenly we shall not die suddenly in the name of jesus i reject i refuse mysterious death in my household in the mighty name of jesus remaining days this year myself and my family we shall not die suddenly i reject and refuse mysterious 
mysterious deaths. I reject and refuse mysterious occurrences in the mighty name of Jesus. Remaining days this year, I will not die suddenly. I will not die suddenly. My children will not die suddenly. My wife will not die suddenly. In the name of Jesus, my ministry will not die suddenly. My business will not die suddenly. Somebody pray that prayer very well. Remaining days this year, my family will not die suddenly. I will not die suddenly. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Somebody needs to pray this one very, very well. Say, remaining days this year, my blood will not be shed by violent men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you do not know, at a time like this, they normally use people's blood to fulfill satanic quarter. I want you to deliver words to the Almighty God. Say, in the name of Jesus, remaining days this year, my blood will not be shed by violent men. Somebody pray that prayer very well. My blood, that of my children, my wife, will not be shed by violent men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Men will not shed my blood this year. In the mighty name of Jesus. Remaining days this year, my blood will not be shed by violent men. My blood will not be shed by violent men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer very well. Is that time of the year where they fulfill satanic quota and what they normally use is the blood of human being. Lift your voice to the almighty God and claim exemption. Say in the name of Jesus. Remaining days this year, my blood will not be shed by violent men. In the mighty name of Jesus. My blood will not be shed by wicked men. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood will not locate me this year. They will not prosper over me this year. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. Throughout this year, the remainders this year, my blood will not be shed by violent men. In the mighty name of Jesus, eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, they will not locate me this year. They will not prevail against me. In the name of Jesus, remaining days this year, my blood will not be shed by violent men. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. I prophesy in the name above every other name to everybody under the sound of my voice remaining days this year you will not be a victim of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in the mighty name of Jesus everybody under the sound of my voice and by extension those that will listen to this message later that the remaining days in the in this year eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood they will not locate your household in the name of Jesus you will not be a victim of eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood in the mighty name of Jesus I pray for somebody remain days this year your blood will not be shed by violent men in the mighty name of jesus over everybody listening to me and over everyone in this commission we cancel we refuse mysterious occurrences in the mighty name of jesus have you not seen some people they say we still saw him an hour ago he was doing very well nothing was wrong with him we just suddenly heard the noise that he's dead nobody knows what is happening what is happening he was not sick he was not you know, wounded by anything. Nobody shot him. He just suddenly died. Mysterious occurrences. I pray for everybody hearing me. By the power in the name of Jesus, over your life this year, we cancel every agenda of mysterious occurrences. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cancel every agenda of mysterious occurrences. In the mighty name of Jesus, you have begun this year very well. You will end it well. You have begun this month well. You will end it well. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer loud and clear. Lift your voice with the Almighty God. A, any sword has two edge. You have the offensive and the defensive. Pray like this and talk to the Almighty God. Say, I take authority over this month in the name of Jesus and I decree that it will favor me. Open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. I take authority over this month of November and I decree and declare that it will favor me. This month will favor me in the mighty name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. I take authority over the month of November and I decree that it will favor me. It will favor me in the mighty name of Jesus. I take authority authority over the month of November and I decree and declare that this month will favor me this month will favor me in Jesus mighty name we pray in Jesus mighty name we pray say you month of November hear the word of the Lord uh, yield your increase for me in the mighty name of Jesus you month of November hear the word of the Lord uh, yield your increase for me in the mighty name of Jesus in my business in my ministry in my career you month of November yield your increase for me yield your increase for me somebody pray that prayer very well you month of November yield your increase for me yield your increase for me in the name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name we pray say in this new month my hand will prosper in the 
mighty name of Jesus, I will exceed the expectation. Somebody pray into your hand in the mighty name of Jesus. You are declaring into the moon. Say, in the name of Jesus, in this month, my hand will prosper. In the name of Jesus, anything I lay my hands upon shall do well exceedingly. In the name of Jesus, I will exceed the expectation. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this month of November, my hand will prosper. In ministry, in career, in business, my hand will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will exceed the expectation. Somebody open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. Prayer is something that you need uh, for your life as a believer. Don't close your mouth. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. Say, in the name of Jesus, in this new month, uh, my hands will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, my hands will prosper. My hands will prosper. In business, in ministry, in career, my hands will prosper. My hands will prosper. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, in this new month, opportunities are coming my way. In the mighty name of Jesus, opportunities are coming my way. Divine opportunities, they are coming my way. Open your mouth and declare it that in this new month, opportunities are coming my way. International opportunities, golden opportunities, they are coming my way. Doors are open unto me. Men will patronize me. Kings will do business with me. Open your mouth and say it very, very well. Say, in the name of Jesus, in this new month, opportunities are coming unto me. Doors are open unto me. Men will patronize me. Kings will do business with me. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this month of November, I will not remain the same. Opportunities open unto me. International opportunities, they are coming my way. Doors are opening unto me. Men will patronize me. Kings will do business with me. People will bring resources unto me. In the name of Jesus, say in this month, I receive resources to do something extraordinary. I will not remain the same. My level will change. In this month of November, kings will do business with me. Men will patronize me. Doors will open unto me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are still praying. Say in this month, my progress shall be evident to all to see. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this month of November, my progress in life shall be evident for all to see. Somebody pray that prayer very well. That in this month of November, my progress shall be evident. In the mighty name of Jesus. Eyes will see it. In the name of Jesus. My progress this month shall be evident. My achievement this month will be evident. In the name of Jesus. In this new month, I will make evident progress. In business, in ministry, I will make evident progress. In the name of Jesus. In my career, I will make evident progress. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Say, in the name of Jesus, in this new month, everything in creation will cooperate with my doing well. In the mighty name of Jesus, in this month of November, everything in creation will cooperate with my doing well. Everything in creation will cooperate with my advancement. In the mighty name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray that prayer very well. Open your mouth and declare it to your own life. Say, in the name of Jesus, in this month of November, everything in creation will cooperate with my doing well. In the mighty name of Jesus, everything in creation will cooperate with my going forward. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I prophesy in the name above every other name that in this November you shall arise and shine. You shall arise and shine. You shall arise and shine. In the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody under the sound of my voice, I decree and declare every time of limitation is over in your life. In the name of Jesus. In this new month, your life will go forward. Your life will go upward. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will change your status quo. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray for somebody. You seem to be stagnant in your current position. But in this new month, doors of new connection and opportunity shall open unto you. In the name of Jesus, you seem to be stagnant in that place where you are. But in the name of Jesus, in this month of November, doors of new connection and opportunities will open unto you to you in the name of Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I press against that I'm commanded that in the name above every other name, that in this November, doors of new opportunity and new connections will open unto you in the name of Jesus. New opportunity and new connection will open unto you in the name of Jesus. You will not remain the same. Your life will go forward in the name of Jesus. You will make remarkable impact in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Praise the Lord. 
hallelujah god bless you god bless you happy new month to you all hallelujah you are welcome to november our month of breaking new grounds hallelujah november our month of breaking new grounds our month of breaking new ground i pray for somebody in the name above every other name that in this month you break new ground you will break new grounds in the name of jesus now ordinarily speaking to break new ground means to begin to do something that no one has ever done before or to do something in a completely different manner in a unique manner to start something that is new to pioneer an order or a dimension it means to make progress or to make advancement i pray for somebody if your amen can be loud this month what you have never done for good you will commence it this month you shall commence it this month everything in creation will cooperate with you taking the new level in the name of jesus everything in creation will cooperate with you making advancement in the mighty name of jesus somebody under the sound of my voice the level of dimension nobody has ever pioneered in your generation god will make you the first god will make you the first in the name of jesus somebody shout i'm breaking new grounds hallelujah our text to that effect is in the book of deuteronomy very quickly deuteronomy chapter one hallelujah thank you jesus and we are reading from verse six to eight very quickly because of our time if i can't finish this i'm just gonna um stop and make declaration and we'll find time to do justice to this letter Deuteronomy chapter 1 from verse 6 to verse 8. Hallelujah. The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mountain. The Lord our God spake unto us in Horeb, saying, You have dwelt long enough in this mountain. Turn you and take your journey and go to the mount of the Amorites and to all the places near thereunto, in the plain, in the hills, and in the vale, and in the south, and by the sea, and by the seaside, to the land of the Canaanites, and unto Lebanon, unto the great river, the river Euphrates. 8. Behold, I have set the land before you, go in and possess the land. Hallelujah somebody this month you will possess the land somebody hearing me you will possess the land i don't know what god told you in january and it seems as if it did not become a reality but i've come to you with a good news uh, that in this new month you will break new grants you will break new ground you will break new grounds in the name of jesus whatsoever that has seemed difficult for you from january that too by the power in the name of jesus under this new mandate shall become your reality it shall become your reality in the mighty name of jesus he says behold i have said before you go in and possess the land which the lord swore unto your fathers abraham isaac and jacob to give unto them and to their seed after them now i want you to know this that it is the will of god for you to break new grounds hallelujah it is the will of god for you to make advancement it is the will of god for you to, to progress in life in everything you do it is god's desire for you to do it say blessed be god who has pleasure in the prosperity of his people the bible also says the part of the just is as a shining light shining brighter and brighter until a perfect day that scripture suggesting that your life should not be static you should go forward you should do something new hallelujah he he does not want you to be stagnant and praise the living jesus in everything you do god wants you to move forward he does not like stagnation he does not like complacency he's saying that you have stayed too long enough in your comfort zone and you are beginning to maintain status quo let me be a prophet on somebody this morning hear me very well by the power in the name of jesus anything holding you down to the same spot for too long let that thing release you and be destroyed let that thing release you and be destroyed in the name of jesus i speak into somebody's life as i have been commanded every power holding you down making you to exercise on godly delay let that power release you and be wasted let it release you and be wasted in the name of jesus somebody lift your voice to the almighty god say power holding me down to where i do not belong release me let me go in the name of jesus every power holding me down to where i do not belong release me let me go in this new month release me release me release me in the name of jesus powers holding me down to where i do not belong enough is enough release me let me go release me let me go release me 
me. Let me go. In the name of Jesus, lift your voice to the Almighty God. Pray that prayer very well. Powers, holding me down to where I do not belong. Release me and let me go. Release me and let me go. In the name of Jesus, release me and let me go. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Hallelujah. Like Moses and the Israelites at Oreb and Mount Sinai, we are already beginning to get too comfortable where we are. Hallelujah. We are getting too comfortable with our comfort zone. We are beginning to like it. We are asked God as a great agenda. God has a bigger plan for us. Don't get too comfortable where you are. The Bible says the part of the just is as a shining light, shining brighter and brighter and brighter until a perfect day. So agenda of God for you is not for you to be static. You should be moving, breaking new grounds, doing something new, taking major steps and showcasing the glory of God. This was Moses and the children of Israel. And they were beginning to become too comfortable because where they had seemed to provide for them a degree of security, some degree of rest and satisfaction and some degree of false assurance as though there's no better ground. To the extent that they are beginning to forget the Canaan land, their main and actual destination. This is the story of many people. Some are hearing me today. You are beginning to feel too comfortable. Maybe when God was bringing you here, he made a promise to you. And with a little degree of comfort, you are beginning to lose a sight of where God said he's taking you to. And you are beginning to feel relaxed. And you are beginning to lose a sight of the agenda. But this month, that story is changing. I prophesy in the name above every other name. In this November, God will move you forward. God will move you forward. I say God will move you forward. In the name of Jesus, in this new month, if you can shout the loud amen, your life will make a remarkable advancement. In the name of Jesus, you will make a remarkable advancement. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer loud and clear. Because when God wants to move a man forward, nothing sustains the power to move that man. Um, to, to move that man. Uh, to stop that man, I beg your pardon. If God wants to move a man forward, nothing in this cosmos. Please, listen to me. Hear me. I say it loud and clear. Nothing sustains the power to, to stop that man. Except that man himself. Except you stop yourself. Nothing, nothing can really, really stop you. The Bible says, if God be for us, who can be against us? Lift your voice to the Almighty God. Say, in the name of Jesus, Oh God, arise, move me from where I am to where I ought to be. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, move my destiny from where I am to where I ought to be. Somebody pray that prayer very well. Say, in the name of Jesus, oh God, arise, move my destiny from where I am to where I ought to be. Lift your mind to, to, to voice to God and pray that prayer very, very well. Lift your voice to the Almighty God. Oh God, arise, move me from where I am to where I ought to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh Lord, my Father. Father, move my ministry, move my calling from where it is to where it ought to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, move my ministry from where it is to where it ought to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, move my business from where it is to where it ought to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, move my career from where it is to where it ought to be. Somebody pray that prayer very well. Oh God, my Father, move my destiny from where I am to where I ought to be. In the name of Jesus, enough is enough. I am tired of staying in the same spot. Oh Lord, my Father, move my destiny from where I am to where I ought to be. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, I think I should have stopped me now. Thank you, Jesus. We shall continue some other time. We have just two minutes more. But I pray for you in the name above every other name that in this month of November, your life will make progress. Oh, your life will make progress in the name of Jesus. Under this mandate, your life will make progress in the name of Jesus. Everything that has kept you on the same spot, they are releasing you this month. Your life is going forward. I say your life is going forward in the name of Jesus. You will not remain the same in the name of Jesus. From this month, you will begin to prosecute destiny. You shall begin to prosecute destiny in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for you. Whatsoever seems difficult for you in your life, either too from this month god will make them easy god will make them easy in the name of jesus i pray for that person i don't know who you are but i pray that god will assign unto you one angel that will help you to navigate the path of destiny in the name of jesus you that person say amen very well that in this month god will assign unto you one angel that will assist you to navigate the path of destiny in the name of jesus i don't know who you are but i pray for you as i'm being instructed now that God will release one angel to you. Liri bazuda ya kapali marunda ya makete area da kuba area da zata. That God will release unto you 
one angel that will support you to prosecute destiny in the name of jesus you will not remain the same your life will go forward in the mighty name of jesus thank you heavenly father oh thank you holy spirit in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah praise the lord praise the living jesus god bless you everyone thank you thank you thank you for taking out the time to connect this morning the lord bless and honor you in jesus name if you are joining us for the very first time this is what a life mission and ministries international prayer platform we welcome you we love you and we sincerely appreciate you we we'll love to see you again and again in our meetings in the name of jesus uh, this is command the month is a monthly program I want to believe you all got a text to that effect yesterday. We would normally alert you now ahead of our programs to let you know. And if you are not on our platform yet, please kindly leave your number in the chat box so we can add you onto the platform and you can get real-time information about our meetings and about the ministry. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Once again, this is November, our month of breaking new grounds. November, our month of breaking new grounds. I'd like you to key into this, into this word and run with it. And the Lord will surprise you mightily in the mighty name of jesus as you go into this one the lord go with you in the name of jesus i pray that even your enemies this one they will favor you in the name of jesus your achievement this year and this month will be remarkable in the mighty name of jesus every resource you need to begin to do something major heaven release to your hand the grace the strength the connection the resource you need to begin to prosecute destiny and go to the next level god releases to your hand now in the name of jesus you will not remain the same your life will make news uh, in the name of jesus and you will end this month uh, with mighty testimony so shall it be in jesus mighty name we pray shall we please share the grace in fellowship May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.